I've been going back and re-enjoying Mary Roach's books. If you're not familiar with Mary Roach, she is a science writer who picks a topic and dives in, finding out all sorts of weird and interesting aspects of her subject. One of my favorites is her 2010 book, Packing for Mars, which covers the science of getting humans to space and back again. She writes about food and eating, how astronauts go to the bathroom, and the dangers of motion sickness. All her books are peppered with footnotes like none you've ever seen, with witty and humorous asides that enhance both the entertainment and fascination aspects of the book. Booklist summed it up nicely in their review of Packing for Mars. Roach brings intrepid curiosity, sauciness, and chutzpah to the often staid practice of popular science writing. Mary Roach has written six books, all of which are available from the library. You can put them on hold by visiting our online catalog at www.link.org. Hi, this is Patty, and I'm here for another episode um, of what we're enjoying. And some of the things that we're enjoying at my house are, of course, all the um, wonderful TV programs that we're finding on either Netflix or Amazon. Uh, the one I was going to talk about today is called Scott and Bailey, and this is on Amazon. This is starring uh, Leslie Sharp and Saran Jones, and this is a British detective series that actually features two women in the most prominent roles. Um, it's a um, fictional major incident team that is part of the Manchester Metro Police Department, um, and it the most of the incidents they cover are murder, uh, murders in the surrounding area. And um, I enjoy the having the two women most prominently in the series. Scott is the more um, senior character. She's the more senior detective. She is more level-headed both professionally and personally, whereas Bailey is a junior detective and although she's really good um, her personal life has a lot of drama um, uh, but besides enjoying the two characters I really enjoy the level of detail that they go into during their investigations um, it's it seems very well written um, they had an episode where they had a couple of characters who were being kept as kind of like indentured servants and they went into the type of um, psychological mindset um, that was pervasive among the indentured servants to get them into that position and the people who were controlling them and I thought it was very interesting. Um, learned some things that I didn't know. Um, some other things that I'm also enjoying is um, the website uh, Creative Bug creativebug.com um, and you can set up a free account uh, through the library website using your barcode and your pin and I've been interested in some of their painting classes and I've looked at some of those and one of the videos I watched was a, um, a daily practice it was painting with um, Carolyn Gavin and um, although her challenge or her daily practice was with watercolors. I had acrylics, but I gave it a, a shot anyway. Um, and this was for abstract florals. So I went ahead and just, they said, just go ahead and paint. You practice daily on something, whether it's drawing or, or painting is to just pick a subject and just practice. And it doesn't matter if it turns out good or bad, as long as you're doing it, you're, you're giving yourself practice in that particular area and I really had a lot of fun with that. Um, some of the other things that we're doing, we are, of course, with the nice weather, doing some gardening um, around the house. We have planted some flowers and some tomatoes and herbs and peppers, and um, I'm sure other people are doing the same. If you wanna put in the comments if you've planted some things, maybe some vegetables, what kind of other things that you're enjoying, put those in the comments and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.